My name is Bill, and I'm an alcoholic. And this show is called Ivy. In our fields and down our lane is a wonderful mixture of old English trees you'd expect to find in our part of the country. Oak and hawthorn and willows and beech and sycamore and many more. Where their smaller cousins ply for hedgerow space, the blackberry, rosehip, ivy and cowslips. They fill the lanes with their museum of history, all wild, all creating a picture within a picture to admire and to see them change as the seasons appear and disappear denotes the arrival and passing of each year. Ivy has, I suppose, a life that is probably as close to my alcoholism as it's possible to get. Where, like my alcoholism that started with one drink, the ivy started growing with one tiny shoot. And from, from there they both grew, one to the alcoholism I have to this day, and the ivy slowly and methodically grew up each tree eventually to overwhelm it, to suffocate it, and to take control. And within time, it would end up killing the very thing it had been living off. Sound familiar? Well, that's alcoholism to the letter. And even if you cut the ivy back around the trunk, it would regrow and continue its march of dominance. Just like if I stopped drinking for a few days or even a month, eventually I'd be back to my abnormal drinking within no time. Nature has a way of dominating and living off its fellows. That's evolution. And addiction is no different. And also like nature, alcoholism today does have an answer. It isn't a one-size-fits-all answer, but it, it has a proven method of success where a change in our outlooks, dealing with our consequences, changing our actions and altering decisions made around our manageability can alter and eventually curtail the relentless march of our addiction to alcohol. Combined with the belief in wanting a future free of the degrading influence that drinking too much gave us. And that's called a spiritual awakening. So later today on our daily walks, I'll see the ivy climbing the trees and be, be reminded once again of where and how my alcoholism could be by now, slowly suffocating me to a point where dying wasn't an option but an almost certainty. Build the shirt, Bristol.